Before we go, what happens in September? Uh, I think General Petraeus will determine what happens in uh, September, but in July, we're not going to let politicians deploy troops based on the polling of the moment. And I think the biggest mistake we could make is misunderstand our enemies. Iran is killing Americans and trying to destabilize so this Saudi, government. Yes, but so because they fear because a the moderate is. form of government, Al Qaeda has come there to destroy moderation. And if they win, we've got a chance to put them on the run. And God bless General Petraeus and these troops. They're doing things with this urge we could never do before, and it's been Al Qaeda's worst nightmare and the worst thing we do as a country is when we're close, when we're close to getting it right to it. is to withdraw because of the next election. How long should they, they, how long the surge last? Lindsay. The surge is set, to, it's been in place for two weeks and we've done more in Anbar and last show was we September. Didn't do that. We didn't it's do been that in, in two place weeks. for two weeks we and it's made weeks. enormous progress. But how long areas. do you believe the surge will last? When General Petraeus comes back, he will tell us these things. I want to leave. No American wants to occupy Iraq, but history will judge us, my friend, not when we left, but what we left behind. Do we leave a resurgent al-Qaeda that will kill every moderate who helped us? Do we empower Iran? Do they control the south of Iraq? Nobody ever ask the consequences, pose the consequences of this idea, but just wash been, your hands of Iraq. I'm going to listen to this general, and friend. I'm not going to let any politician take the place of the general. I'll give you a chance to respond. Um, Lindsay's had a hard month. You know, these people who have, you know, gathered around, gathered around gathered around the president, you know, on the immigration bill, on this bill. I know it's, I know it's been tough. It's about the next we gotta, 20 and 30 years. We've got to bring years. people together um, and, uh, you know, get a diplomatic solution in place here that's in consonance with this. When the president announced the surge in January, uh, he said that by the end of this year, all of the provinces in Iraq would be under the control of the Iraqis. That's clearly not going to happen. And the bottom line here is whether you want to stay for... 10 years, or whether you want to stay wanna, for six months, excuse me, excuse me, friend, um, we need to find a formula that takes care of the well-being of our soldiers and our Marines. And there is no, there is no on. operational policy that, we can that justifies the, what we've been doing. The, the, tradi the traditional operational policy has been if you've been gone for a year, you get two years back. We're now in a situation where the soldiers and the Marines are having less than a one-to-one -one ratio, and somebody needs to speak up for them rather than simply defending what this president is doing. When they re-enlist in the highest numbers anywhere you know, else in the this military, is one thing I really, speaking, this is one thing I really take objection to, speaking, is politicians Let them win. Let them win. The, let the them win. They who, want to win, speak, let them win. There's politicians who try to put their political views into the mouths of soldiers. You can look at poll after poll, and the political views of the United States military are no different than the country writ large. Go take a look at the New York Times today. The soldiers, Less than half of the military the, believes that we should have been in Iraq, Iraq in the have first you ever place. Been and you know, to them? have I've you been have you times. ever been to these? I've been I've I've covered two wars as a course. Have you been to Iraq? I have been to Iraq. Have you been to Iraq and have you been to Iraq and talked to the soldiers? You know, you haven't have been, you to Iraq, been to Iraq. Have you ever been to Iraq? I've been there seven you know, times. You know, you go see the dog and pony shows. That's I've what, been there uh, as a reservist. I do. have been there you know, and I'm have, going back have, in August. I've been uh, a well, member of the military all, when the well, senators listen, come in. Listen, something we can agree on. We both admire the men in the women in uniform. I don't Don't put patriotism. political words in their mouth. I, you know, my election, I'm up for all elections. Every been Republican who's supporting this position you know, is you doing it on the floor. The Let them this is win. not about my election, my friend. This is about the next generation. You said on the floor this week. The troops are not the problem. Let them win. The troops can win. 35% of the United States military agrees with the policy of President. Well, why By do poll. they keep reenlisting? Why do they go back? Because the they problem. love their country. No, because, because they, know they, they can... love their country. And they, they do not do it for political reasons. Believe me, my family's been doing this in revolution. Yeah, well, so they do it for they do it because of their country, because they have a dish, and it's a responsibility our national leader to make sure they used to In conclusion, I think they go back because they see the face of the enemy that were fighting. Well, they don't want their kids Lindsay. go back. They don't want their kids to go back. People ben Lindsay, this, this is the role in Iraq. They go back because they know the consequences of losing. God bless them and let's make sure they can win because they can. I'll let them judge you said. He continues.